This is Diego Romalo, the head of Zero Team North Carolina and someone who has been in my corner throughout multiple events. But today, he betrayed me. In the last video, we took on the Nogi lightweight bracket. However, we came up short by one advantage, sending us into third place. Now in the Gi, we are back for blood. Yes, sir. There is one problem. Nobody was in my weight class for the Gi, so Newbury decided to put me up in the middleweight division. Let's see what kind of trouble we can cause today in the Gi division. Had a little bit of a hiccup in the Nogi bracket, but we're, we're coming back in the Gi bracket. We're fighting a weight class above, still same expectations. Collar drag, getting on top, knee slice, that's what I'm going for. Right off the bat, I am reminded that these are going to be some tough ass rounds. Unfortunately, my opponent put his gi on, so you can't see, but this dude is seriously jacked. As we engage, he shoots on a collar grip, and as I try to break it off and establish my grips, I nearly eat the mat after a wild snap down. Not wanting to get caught up in that again, I pull and try to elevate Christian, but he sinks his weight back, preventing the attack. I'll use my feet on his hips to create some space, and then shift onto my right hip to throw in a lasso. Christian begins to weave his hand out of the guard, so I extract the lasso and turn it into a spider hook. As soon as I do that, I see a window of opportunity and blast on a triangle. As long as he isn't able to touch his elbow to the ground, I should be okay in the stack. I'll then pinch my knees together and squeeze his head off to finish the triangle. I know what you're thinking. That was way too easy and this tournament is gonna be a breeze. Well, don't go anywhere just yet because Layton has other plans. I'll start off the match by jabbing on a cross collar and dropping to a hip to catch a single leg. Layton stomps out of it, so I try to sneak to his back with a duck under, but I land in half guard. To try and keep the pace high, I open my guard, and as Layton's weight shifts forward, I nearly catch him with a scissor sweep. As we rise back up, notice how my forehead is driving into his temple. This puts me in a superior attacking position. I try and hit a sliding trip sweep of sorts, but again fall short and forced into defending. Layton then starts to attack a submission that would normally put me out in seconds. The straight ankle lock has been my nemesis since white belt. However, recently I found a cheat to not only defending the sub, but using it to my advantage. First, by controlling the sleeve grip, it negates his ability to connect his hands and fully lock in the ankle. Secondly, because of the collar grip, I can use his momentum to stand up, not only giving me two points, but also flattening my foot to the floor, making it much harder to break the ankle. I'll then peel his outside leg off my hip and back step out of single leg X. As soon as I do that, Leighton hits me with a wild card. He wrestles up on a deep single leg and I have no idea how I'm gonna escape without conceding two points. That was until I heard Gabriel's voice. With Gabriel's help, I found a way to not only escape the single leg, but land a triangle in the process. And with just my luck, right before I can take the arm home, the ref resets us standing. Sure, I got two points for the submission attempt, but at the angle he was at and the grips I had, it was a done deal. I'll try a few more takedown attempts, but they're all shut down by his defense. The round will end with a two point lead, sending me into the finals. All right guys, so we're in the finals for the game match, which is cool. Little do I know, the person I'll be facing trains under the same affiliation as I do, and it just so happens that his professor has coached me through many tournaments. Except today, he decided otherwise. I fucking betrayed you. I don't give a shit. Well, then I guess there's only one thing left to do. What's that? Win the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Okay, so here we go, the finals of the middleweight bracket. Justin and I will begin by locking up and establishing grips. We take a stroll around the mat before he pulls guard. I try to move into headquarters, but he elevates me and slides into deep half. This is a guard that I haven't seen too much of, and he caught me clean with his entry. Not knowing how to properly defend deep half, he'll roll on top and gain the first two points of the match. Now playing guard, I create space and start to attack my signature move. The collar sleeve triangle has been my go-to submission throughout my career, soloing two IBJJF tournaments back to back before my promotion at PANS. Here's how I do it. So as stated in the name, my grips are collar and sleeve. The foot on the same side of the grips will post on my opponent's hip, the grips will break my opponent's posture down, and I'll then sit on my far right hip so my left leg is just out of reach from my opponent's arm. All of this for one goal, isolating my opponent's head and arm. And now with the pieces set in place, I can take my shot and end the match. Or so I had thought. Right when I felt that I had the triangle locked up, Justin managed to drag his elbow past my hip line, allowing him to return to safety. However, now down two points and with under three minutes left, I need to make something happen now. As Justin tries to disengage, that's exactly when I find my opening to turn the tides in this match. Getting 
on top. Knee slice. So not only was I able to get ahead on points with the takedown and pass, but the two moves that I have been trying all tournament finally came to fruition. But don't think Justin is letting me win that easily. He'll recover and then swing himself into deep path and use that to start working his way up to my back. Justin scores two points and the ref resets us back to the middle. There's no room to make a mistake now. Any points scored could win him the match. With limited time, Justin desperately tries to jump his hooks in. I'll block them and wrap onto a body lock. He'll then strategically pull guard to avoid a takedown. As I move to pass, Justin begins to off balance me hard. I maintain my composure and back step to pass his guard. From here I hit another back step to mount and with time on the edge of expiring, he accepts his fate with two loving taps on the ass. So guys, in the end, Diego and I are still best buds and there was no bad blood between us. Alright boys, we just won the finals for the Gi. But we're going to go pick up our medal now. I don't really care for it, but what I do want to do is I want to get enough medals and then I want to make a sword and hire a blacksmith to make a sword. That would be pretty cool. So guys, after three hard fought matches, I walked away with gold in the Gi division. With pans just around the corner, this was a huge win to solidify my confidence in some moves and sharpen up the arsenal. Now with this tournament behind us, it is full sail ahead to the Pan Ams. I'd like to quickly thank everyone who stayed to the end. If you guys could do me a favor and give this video a big thumbs up, it would allow me to keep posting content like this. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see going forward, and I will see you guys next week at World Series Jiu Jitsu.